I'm out here in the workshop where I'm going to be showing a more detailed installation of a can light. And also, I am partnered in this video with Mold Color to install some lighting here. So uh, we'll also be getting these bulbs installed after I get this can light in. So let's get started. The first thing that I want to do is get these installed up on my joists here. So it's got this nail that can be driven in to kind of to hold things in place while you get screws in. But it's kind of difficult uh, to get that installed in my situation. So I'm just going to go straight to screws. So, and also this will expand to fit the different size uh, spacing in your joist. Okay, I have my can light here. I want the box for the electrical work to go towards the back wall here. So I'm also going to be lining up this piece and this piece with the end of this board down here. So I'm just going to get this into place. And you can kind of use that nail as just a little guide to keep it in place. But like I said before, I'm going to be using some screws right off here. So I'm going to use some one and a quarter inch screws to get this attached up here. And just going to line it up where I want it, right there, and then put these screws in. Now you'll notice right here on the track, there is a screw. You can take the screwdriver and cinch that down and it will keep the can from sliding. Okay, I got the one over here tightened down and now the whole can light is stationary. Now it's time to get the can light wired up here. I'm gonna pull this metal sheet off and throw away the instructions. If you look on the box here, there is a metal tab that needs to be pushed open here. Now normally this would be pulled all the way out and you would install a, uh, a wire holding device, but uh, I'm not going to use that today. So I'm going to take my wire here and place this into that hole and then pull out until I find the spot that I want. Now I want to be able to hammer down a uh, a piece to hold this in place so that should be about where it needs to be right there. I need this wire to stick out of the box here about four inches so I'm going to cut right here. Okay now I need to take my razor blade and cut back a few inches of this sheathing here and then I want to just remove that. Okay, and there's usually a piece of paper around the ground wire. Remove that as well. And now I need to strip the black and white wire here with my wire strippers. I'm going about a half inch because that's really all I need. And now I'm going to take these little nuts that come in the light here and attach ground to ground, black to black, and white to white. Close up of what this looks like here. So yeah, each of these just has a place you can slide that wire into. And you can see it up here in this clear piece so you know that it's there. Then I'm going to push this in the box. I do need to fold this tab back. Kind of holds the wire in a little bit. And lastly, reinstall this plate. And that completes the installation of the can light. Now that the can light has been installed, let's take a look at these Mool Color lights that were sent to light up the workshop. They are a 3000K, which means they're more of a yellow than a white color. Um, you can see I've already tested one, but just your standard light bulb screw on down here. And uh, so some of the technical specs of these lights, they are nine watts, which is pretty awesome. And 800 lumens, 270 degree, beam angle. 
um, no mercury, and uh, they're eye friendly, which is really awesome. So uh, if you'd like to check these lights out, I've got a link in the description. And also you can uh, copy paste the uh, code and uh, get these for an even better price. So check that out. Let's pull them out here and get them installed in the can lights and see how bright they are. Okay, I'm gonna pop out the little red plastic piece here and just screw the bulb in like you would any typical bulb. All right, let's go turn it on and see what it looks like. Well, that completes the installation of all the can lights and the mole color bulbs. I'm very thankful to have those sent to me to use here in the workshop. And this certainly does provide a good deal of light out here. Big thanks to Mold Color for sending these lights to get the workshop lit. If you would like to check out this company, I have the link in the description below. And be sure to use that promo code so you can get uh, a discount. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. And uh, if you know somebody that would like to see how these can lights are installed, um, please click that share button and share to Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth Johnson with Land House, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Now, this comes with a screw. Oh boy, that's not a screw. <laughs> oh man.